in your garden, do you ever have those hidden weeds that you don't really know about until they get really big? Uh, sometimes we have weeds like quack grass or morning glory or something like that, that just takes over the space, right? And we keep fighting with it and fighting with it, but it just keeps taking over. And so we're, and we have to keep a constant eye on it just so that we can keep it under control, right? Uh, so really I was thinking about this really the solution is to just to go to Heavenly Father. He is the master gardener. Jesus Christ is, and Jesus Christ also is all the master gardener. And so they plant something there that has enough of a root system that would take over that area and take and crowd out the other things. And so that was just one of, one of the ideas that I had. And so it's like that in our lives. I woke up with the, this morning with some thoughts and so I just went downstairs and I journaled and I was so, so surprised at all of the connecting things and all the, all of the, the ahas that I had as I was journaling with, like, and I, and I sort of journal my, especially like my morning notes and my, my GPS, my gratitude, prayer, and scripture, I do that with the Lord in mind, to the Lord, even though I'm just journaling. And so I started journaling and I had all of these things come up that I didn't even realize were connected. So when I, I served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And when I was a missionary, at the end of my mission, I loved being a missionary. Seriously, I was like, I was born, this is what I was born to do. Now what am I supposed to do now that I'm going home? And so... Uh, when I was leaving, my mission president told me, he said, you're going to either marry somebody really, really weak or really, really strong. And I took that to mean, I hurt my feelings really bad. And I took that to mean that I was an overpowering person because I'd been told that I was bossy and all that stuff as, uh, for a lot of my life. And so I took that to mean that I was going to marry, either totally be domineering over my husband or he, I would marry someone that would be domineering over me and it hurt my feelings a lot. And so then fast forward. And so I went to this event and they were talking about the masculine and feminine energy of different personality types. And I realized, so as, as a missionary, I, we, one preparation day, we went hiking and it was my turn to choose and we went hiking and I climbed up this, this rock that was a lookout point instead of going around it. And I fell backwards, uh, a rock came loose and I fell backwards and landed on my face and smashed it on a boulder that I landed on. And so my, the thing was, is after I fell, I shifted from my, so I have, I, if you can't tell, I'm very warrior. I'm like, this is my end goal. We've got to, we've got to figure it out and make it there. So I shifted from my secondary to being from like more visionary and fun and a, a more of a feminine energy to having two, my, my primary and my secondary energies, both being masculine. And when I realized that, then I just cried. I just, I felt so bad and I just cried. And I realized, you know, I have way too much masculine em energy and I'm a woman. So what am I supposed to do about that? And so fast forward till this morning, I wake up and I realized all these things, like I'm journaling and I'm, and I'm putting all of these things together. And I realized that all of these things were connected and they had become such a giant weed of thinking, even in my subconscious, not conscious, not front of my mind, they had become this giant weed that I didn't even recognize was there. And the really, the way for us to balance our energy is through faith. Because you think about it, you think about Jesus Christ. Was he too masculine? Was he too feminine? No, he wasn't. And... So for whether you're a woman or a man, we can balance our energy as we go to Jesus Christ. Faith is an energy that balances us. You think about it. When men are asked to exercise, the, they're asked to, to work in through the power of God and work in the priesthood and different things like that, 
then what does that take? That takes humility. That takes all of these things that and the, this faith that is balancing to our energy. And so the thing that I realized, so there's kind of two parallel things that are going on right here. So I realized to balance our energy, we need we need to go to take everything to Christ because when he takes when he tells us what our part is that day then it balances that energy because we're just acting in faith and also when there are weeds that are growing in our lives the only way that we can really uproot and and overcome you know get rid of those roots and and put something there that is much more productive and useful is to be intentional in our thoughts and to work through those limiting beliefs and journal or do whatever. There's tons of different kinds of tools to work through those like belief breakthroughs and different things. But it's ultimately it is done through the atonement of Jesus Christ. And he is the one that can help us to uproot those weeds and to put something there that is really actually supposed to be there and is helpful. Five years ago, I had this crazy, crazy postpartum depression. And it wasn't just depression, it was rage, it was crazy. And I realized I had so much healing to work through. And I wanted it to be done in six months, and then I was done, and I was healed, and I was good. But it has taken me <laughs> five years. And I want to give anyone who is willing to receive anything that I have to offer, I just want to give you some shortcuts and some things that can help you to maybe expedite that process a little bit. And it is really, really, we are designed to attach to something. Everything in nature is. Everything in the universe, we are designed to attach. And we are given parents, a mother and a father, and in a, in, in a whole family with a mother and a father, you know, that are loving with children, then they, the purpose of that is to teach us to attach ourselves to Christ. We are first attached to our parents and when they are attached to, to Jesus Christ, they teach us to follow that example and also attach. And then when we get married, then we shift our parental attachment to our spouse. And so as we are designed to attach Attaching ourselves to Christ is the one way to expedite that process. And when we really, truly go to Christ and we truly turn to him, then he is the one that helps us to work through those things. That whatever healing we need to do takes us to the right people, takes us to the right tools, to and helps us to know what step to take each day, what part is ours, what part is his, and so that we don't go to a place of overwhelm. You know, the Dead Sea that it's dead because it doesn't have an outlet. It doesn't, it receives, but it doesn't give. And so you look at the, the Sea of Galilee and what a difference that is. And so what really I am learning right now is I have had a mentor that has really helped me to see that it is time to start sharing my fruit. I have so much that I know and that I can offer whether it's the things that I've worked through or it's recipes or it's living in a greener, more earth-friendly way, whatever the case is, I have so much to give and it is helping, it is also facilitating and furthering and quickening my healing by realizing that it's time for me to share.